Join us now, Dan Flax, uh, Newberger Berman, senior research analyst. I was kind of kidding around because looking at some of your notes, Dan, and um, on all three of these, and they all start with despite. The blah blah blah. We continue to see the company executing. You like all three of these. You're you're, you're giving a pass, really. Is it just because they all start with A, or um, or because you've been recommending these stocks? So you don't see any any problems with. Let's start with Apple. But you say, yeah, there were some issues, but they're continuing to execute. Same story with the other two. But let's start with Apple. Good good morning, Joe. Uh, great to be with you as always. A Apple is navigating what is, of course, a very difficult environment. Uh, quite well, I think, overall. As you know, we've been longtime holders of the name, and what we're seeing is that they're executing on product cycles like iPhone. iPhone was impacted by, by supply challenges in China over the quarter, but if you look across their businesses, they had a record growth in the installed base, uh, a record size of the installed base. Services remains healthy. I think what's going to happen is that as we move through the coming months and quarters, we'll see a return to to uh, growth, and the market will begin to discount that. And so we continue to like the name, even in the face of these macro challenges. What, what, what would they have said for you to say, OK, there's a problem? What, what, what did they not say that allows you to stay um, feeling pretty good about Apple? What, what would be a what would you have to see to get negative on the stock? It comes down to the innovation. And so if we were to see challenges with their with their execution on the product cycles, uh, challenges in services, challenges in gross margins. In fact, gross margins were a little, uh, you know, the guidance for the March quarter was actually a little bit better. And I think that was notable in the face of things. So okay. we're tracking the innovation carefully. Same thing, though, with, with Alphabet. Despite the cyclical headwinds, the company's continue, continuing to execute. I mean, the company missed expectations on the top and the bottom lines. Uh, first time you've seen advertising. It's the second time since the IPO uh, long ago where you actually saw advertising sales drop. That's not enough to get you to feel uh, it hasn't been a, a great hold for you this year or in the last 12 months. The last 12 months have been more more difficult. But if you look over the last several years, it, it has been a, a good stock. And I think if we look out over the next couple of years, it will also be a good stock. If you adjust for currency, the business performed quite well considering the environment. I think what we've seen with search and, and what will be the case going forward is that it continues to evolve. It continues to change, but ultimately it's about delivering value to users on one side and advertisers on the other. And then you have newer businesses like their cloud business, which grew over 30 percent. And so it's not that they're immune from the macro challenges, but we are seeing the company take a more aggressive approach to managing costs, which I think is positive. So we continue to like that name here.